Both the Celtics and the Heat were hunting, you know, on Sunday. Not for Easter eggs, but goose eggs, as in zeros for their first round opponents, as in season sweeps. Only one would succeed. I'm not going to, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, we got to win Sunday. I don't know what else to say. Just win Sunday. That's all we can do. Simple as that for Doug Collins 76ers as the big three tried to put Philly away in four on Sunday. First quarter, Sixers get out and run, and when they get out and run, they're very good. Very good, because Drew Holiday has had an exceptional year. Look at that round of back pass in traffic to EB for the finish. Yeah, that was nice. He got off to a good start. It was great to see Ellen Brand get off to a quick start in this game. I thought that was pivotal. Philly quickly up by seven, Andre Iguodala. He had 16 on the afternoon. Philly up 20 to six in a hurry. In transition once again, it's Holiday to Jody Meeks for three. 23 8 Sixers. Eric Spolstra, your move. We got to change this thing right now. Down there, we got to hit first, contest on the glass. Turnover. And Philly can Maybe get a little right. tough as well if, if need be. I don't know. James Jones steps out of bounds here. Evan Turner, Jones, and Thaddeus Young all have a little. Confab over there by the sideline. Nothing really doing here as the coaches get involved, get everybody separated. No technical fouls were assessed. Heat start the comeback. This is what Coach Spo wanted. LeBron James, the rebound. Dwayne Wade, the dunk. This is when Miami's at their best. Good half court defense and get out and run. Trapping, a steal, and Wade, the big finish. They cut the lead to nine. Heat force another loose ball. James recovers, he'll finish. Should have been an and one right there. Took his legs out from under him. Got a little shin on the way by. A little bit. Bucket counts. LeBron goes for 13 in the half. Heat in transition again. It's Wade with the jumper. They take their first lead since 4-2. Uh -oh. Then off the forced turnover, it's the king. Best in the business when it comes to getting out and finishing on the break. And that's what Coach Spoh's talking about. Get that good half-court defense and run. And that completed a 22-2 run. Wade doing it on the other end as good a shot-blocking guard as the league has seen in how long? Oh, a long time. We were sitting there talking, maybe Clyde Drexler? Yeah. He had five in the game. Second half, Spencer Hawes, Andre Ugadal. Oh, great pass in the interior. Big fella to the small forward. Take that with you. What a beautiful look. Philly up by three. Hawes to Evan Turner. Another good pass from Hawes. Yeah, big fella showing us something tonight. Turner had 17 points, six boards off the bench. Good minutes from the rookie. Wade to Chris Bosch. 12 and five for the game. We're tied at 58. Porter running out. It's James driving for the reverse layup, the bump, and the bucket. That's a diesel train yeah, coming this, down the lane like that. He bumped the center off him like he was a <laughs> guard, right? LeBron was 11 of 20 from the field. Two crunch time off the Wade miss. It's LeBron on the putback. 31, 7, and 6 for him. King on your head. <laughs> Lou Williams gets it going. Knocks oh. down the three. They're down by two. Williams not done. How about the floater here? We're tied at 75. He would respond defensively. Chris Bosch, not once, but twice. Okay, CB4. I thought he could have blocked CB1 shots. now. Yeah, CB1 now. <laughs> and then LeBron James comes from out of nowhere to swat away Evan Turner's effort. Off the LeBron miss here, it's Dwayne Wade with a tip in. Iguodala never got a body on him. Wade had 22, 82, 76. Sixers not done yet. To Turner. 10 on the shot clock, Miami by one. Back out front, Lou Williams, a three from out top. He made it, a three by Lou Williams. The Sixers are leading with eight seconds to go. After the 20-year-old Drew Holiday knocked down that three, it's the 24-year-old Lou Williams with the big bucket. He had 17, 8.1 seconds left. What are they gonna do? It's LeBron, can't get it. I like the look right there. I just think that was a heck of a play by Elton Brand coming over on the weak side defense. And the Philadelphia 76ers will move on with this series as they force a game five in Miami. Remember, the Sixers limped into the playoffs. This was just their second win since April 2nd, and they end a 10-game losing streak against Miami. This is the first playoff win for Doug Collins since the 96-97 season back with Detroit as the Heat shoot under 39% and their bench was outscored by 20. Bottom line, Philly lives. 
We're a young team that's trying to grow. And to do that, you have to play against these kind of people in this kind of environment. And uh, you can't, as I said before, the experience is, is off the charts. I mean, to look eye to eye with LeBron and Wade and Bosch in and, and a series like this that's now going to go at least five games is, uh, is terrific. We know it's never easy. Even up three zip, uh, we knew that this team would not give up. It's not in their nature. So we have to collect ourselves, learn from this, and move on to Wednesday. We have a chance again uh, on, on um, whenever it is in a couple days. And, you know, we just have to do our job and, um, and uh, execute down the stretch and, and, and play harder than they do and uh, beat them on the boards. And if we do that, um, we'll win the game. You know, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, we have a better, you know, better game plan, um, you know, execute better down the stretch in game five and um, get ready for it. I think it's obvious, you know, from our standpoint, um, we're starting games off better, starting halves off better. Um, but I thought we did a pretty good job defensively. Um, you know, they just made shots at the end um, to win the ball game. Uh, I think it was just great for us to come out and win. And uh, on a lighter note, you know, Charles Barkley, you know, he said we were going to get swept, and we were mindful of that, and we didn't want to be one of the gone fishing guys, uh, you know, at least not today, you know. So uh, I think that felt good. Well, the fishing is great down there in Miami, but that's not why the Philadelphia 76ers are headed that way. They did force a game five. And, and how impressive it is it to you guys that Doug Collins entrusts the game and the season to his young guards down the stretch. It, it's very impressive, and in case you just tuned in, people hadn't forgotten they started out 3-13. and 13. Mm -hmm. So to see this team fight the Miami Heat the way they had in this game today, most young teams would lay down, like you mentioned, Matt, 24-year-old and a 20-year-old making big shots late in the game. And for your head coach to have confidence in you, to put the ball in your hands, talking about Lou Williams and Drew Holiday, to go out there and make plays and make great decisions down the stretch. Yeah, I agree, and I think Evan Turner was huge in this game as well. I mean, he's another guy that stepped in and, and provided points. When you're playing LeBron and, and Dwayne Wade, you can't just sit there and feel like you're going to be a defender and try to stop them. You have to attack these guys as well, and I think they did a good job of doing that tonight. And don't forget, Evan Turner wasn't playing earlier in the years. Most people I thought he was going to be a bust. Up and down all season right. long in terms of minutes. Where does he fit in the rotation? What position does he play? Exactly. So in a closeout game to get 17-7 and seven off the bench and come in there and help your team get over the hump, that's big and make your coach get extra confidence in you. Big 27 minutes for Evan Turner. Me Meanwhile, for the Miami Heat, this has become sort of a recurring theme, that last possession. They have been unable to finish out close games all season long. If you go back over the course of the season, they're now 5 of 27 from the field in the last 30 seconds of the fourth quarter or into overtime with the game tied or down one to three points. Even worse, if you go to the last 10 seconds of games tied or or with a chance to take the lead, one of 19 in those situations. What strikes you about the Heat's execution or, or lack thereof in those situations? What strikes me is the fact that I think every coach in the league would like to be in a position <laughs> in 27 games to be down one or with the ability to tie or win a game. I think so that puts them, you know, because of this group, you know, mm -hmm. we give them a hard time about how they've been finishing. but. I, mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I, I, obviously the numbers should be better, and, and it's always a question of whether it should be LeBron or whether it should be Dwayne Wade. I mean, I just whoever's going well. But I think it, whoever's in that situation should look to be a facilitator. You're going to draw all of the attention. You should get an open look for one of your other teammates, whether it's uh, one of the big three mm -hmm. or one of those guys that you brought in here to shoot.